Authorities in Kalungu district have closed Kamuungu Primary School following floods that cut it off from the local residents. Parents in this area have attributed the problem to the sun mining in Luera. The school administration has decided to close it to save the learners from the risk of drowning. I am concerned about the P7 candidates asking government to find a way to help them. The school head teacher, Scholastika Apiding, confirms that the floods have greatly affected them. In most cases, the floods don't allow us to complete the syllabus. And yet at the end, we do the same final exams with the different schools which, are, which attend lessons from the beginning of the term up to the end of the term. That affects us, making us at times not to acquire the best grades. Kalungu District Chairperson Kamadi Nyombi Muchibi says they have no budget to handle a disaster of this magnitude and are appealing to government to increase the money allocated to the education sector. We get less than 200 million shillings in a, in a financial year and you can hardly use the 200 million shillings to work upon all the schools without, like currently in Kalungu District. We have more than 60 schools where the pit latrines are no longer in working state. So I do expect our, our learners to go and ease themselves and even the teachers. Let them allocate a reasonable, a, a reasonable percentage to the education department. And the money that goes into the education department should not only be money for paying teachers. This is not the first time this has happened. So I appeal to the Prime Minister's office to send us experts so that we come out with a remedy to really combat this situation at the moment. We are stuck and the buildings are becoming weaker and weaker. This is the only alternative. And closing this school means the kids in this area have no hope of going to school. Relatedly, the rising water levels have paralyzed work in many places in Entebbe. Nachuogo Market and Nachuogo Landing Site are among those affected. Passengers were unable to board the ferry due to the high water levels. Several people were left stranded yeah. after their houses were also flooded. This is Angela Musime's house in Lugonjo, Nachuogo, where she stays with her four children who had gone to school when we visited. She's bound to lose every property should the water levels rise higher. Despite the risen water levels, Musime says they will have to sleep in their house sharing the little space possible. She is not the only resident feeling this effect. In Nachuogo market, traders were seen getting to relocate their stock and merchandise from the flooded area. Those who have decided to stay have had to make temporary wooden bridges for their customers. The rising water levels have also made it impossible for the Nachuogo ferry that transports travelers to Kalangala to dock. Now, as a precautionary measure to ensure the safety of all passengers and vehicles, the Uganda National Roads Authority has decided to temporarily suspend the transportation of vehicles on the Nachuogo Boya ferry this period with only transportation of passengers to be facilitated. All people who settled close to the lake shores have felt the brunt of the rising water levels, including hotels. The National Environment Management Authority has often cautioned members of the public against settling near the lake. Yeah.